I trust this will suffice. God smiles upon the generous. Oh, away with you! Back to your cesspit, beggar! A land grotesque as its people. You dreamt of utopia. You saw the tribes united as one. Oh. That dream died long ago. You should have done the same. Your kingdom will perish alongside you. By my hand. I cannot fathom it. His Majesty killed in his own bed. The blooms upon the Prince's grave had yet to wilt. Without an heir to wear the crown, what will become of the royal magic? Thus vulnerable, an invasion might undo us. From within or without, the state hangs on a precipice. It may even come to civil war. In dark times, we must stand together. Your eminence! Who could do this? Few could even enter the king's chambers, let alone draw close. And yet... And yet, his majesty's arcane power could deflect near any blade. With all the royal bloodline's magic, who could harm him at all? Shadows stir in the castle, just as they did with the prince. What hellbound soul could end a royal life? Who would dare such atrocity? Huh? Luis. A shame to die with no heirs. The prince was taken too soon. And only a king may wield the royal scepter, the very crux of his vaunted bloodline's magic, which made such a fine deterrent to war. One has to ask, them dead, who shall take the throne? Here begins the demo prologue of Metaphor Refantasio. What we have to offer you is but a taste of the story from its beginning. But through it, your experience will mirror the full version. Should you wish it, you may carry over your save data to the full version. We thank you for expressing your curiosity about our tale of fantasy. Who's there? I can feel you watching me from a place beyond my sight. Whoever you are, please tell me. Does our world pique your interest? Pardon my curiosity, but would you tell me your name? That is to say, tell me who you really are. The one who meets my eyes across a strange threshold. suggests to me you might reside in a world beyond ours. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. Or to put it another way, 
This is a fantasy. But can it truly be dismissed as something so far removed from you? If indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation? More than wishful thinking, more than fiction, something capable of affecting the realities beyond its bounds. This must be what you believe. I confess my own answer still eludes me. But consider, if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope can be made manifest. Thus does change come, and thus is fantasy forged into a new reality. Perhaps the story about to unfold before you will tell us. I'm thoroughly invested now myself. So, let this tale begin. Looks like we're in the clear. The capital's just through this desert. Is it true, then? The king is dead. Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the road safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. Uh, to say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my words. That much is certain. What's the problem? They're bandits! Come on, let's see some respect for the militia! Us folk, we're commoners! No crown or church will save us! But Lord Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is no tribute. You're with us or against us? And if you're against us... An igniter? How'd they get rid of those? Come on, come on! Hey, keep it moving up! That's what! Right. we got here? He's an elder! So he is. No horns, no knife beers. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. Hold it! Should have listened to us, chum. <laughs> now fall in line! Let's want to get stumped like us! You drew steel. I take it you are prepared to die by it. Stand aside! <laughs> place already feels like a death trap. You hear all that stuff about Lord Luis saving us? Hey, you okay? You still got all your limbs attached? Well, at least they didn't figure out our mission. Definitely could have gone worse. What mission? Come on! This is no time for jokes. You do know that if anyone finds out who we really are, it's all over, right? The mission's more important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, there's no going back.
think we'll make it? Uh. Let's go. Okay. Run! Look! checking, but you do remember what we're here to do, right? Right. <laughs> what am I doing again? Oh, I don't know. The mission that's more important than our own lives? First, we get to the Royal Capital and get you enlisted as a guardsman at the Army's Recruitment Center. This could decide the fate of the whole country. We either do our jobs or we die. And if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay alive. So we've got to see this mission through. Come on. We don't want the sun to go down on us in the wastes. Let's pull ourselves together and get back on the road. You know what they say. Anxiety breeds the world's cruelest monsters. I mean, fairies say that at least. I can at least cast my usual spell for you. It's the small comforts, right? Right. Music was the first magic this world ever knew, after all. It makes the road a little easier. Look! Over there! Let's go. Got a sec? Tribes and three nations, all blessed by the power of magic. The United Kingdom of Euchronia. The year is 785. Euchronia is shaken to the core by the sudden death of its king. Anxiety breeds dissent among the tribes. Disparities tear them apart. And no mortal mind remembers the heroic tales upon which their land was built. <laughs> By this story of fantasy, may this faded world be painted anew.
Get on with it, then. Drop the dog. Hang him dead. Please! I've done nothing wrong! Dying dog! Don't try to deny it! You trample the law for the fun of it! Let it be known, for misuse of an igniter, you will hang by the neck until dead! <laughs> There's no way that crowd was going to listen to anything a Paribus said. <sighs> Such a shame. Why you, special coin? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh, careful! Hurry! <laughs> uh, don't you have any street smarts? Come on, kid. <laughs> Tourists here, we've got to stay focused. Right. You noticed back on the wagon? You might be the only elder here, in the whole city even. The capital's incredible. Just look at all the different tribes. You never see this kind of diversity out in the countryside. Not that it's very balanced. I see more Plumars and Roussants than anyone else. Which means a dopey Elder kid's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Try to keep your head down, okay? Hey, did you hear what they're saying about His Majesty? They say it wasn't illness at all. I heard it was foul play, assassination. Shh, careful who hears you say that. But it's just like the Prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. Sounds like monsters have been prowling the countryside. They're sending the guard out to deal with them. The army's really gone to hell. It's a far cry from when we had Count Luis at the helm, I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. We'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. <sighs> The king dead, his son stricken. Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all in our power, but not even the kingdom's best, the saint, could purify this affliction. Over ten years he has languished under this curse. How much longer can his body hold out? No doubt his highness would protest. But uh, since he cannot, we have no choice. For the man who cursed his highness and murdered our king, there can be no mercy. I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. Hey, are you listening? Well, I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. You and the prince were pretty close. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted so you can meet up with our operative. Remember, nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. Step one, let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard considering the need for soldiers. Yeah. 
Look at that. The new model's out now. I could be out there slinging spells like a master if I had one of those. I guess that's the big city for you. Everyone and their mother has a magic igniter. So many different types, too. What's a magic igniter? See? There's a couple in the window. Like an instrument plays a tune, an igniter casts magic. Pretty hard to come by out in the countryside. Can't imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Me? I can whip out magic anytime I like. And I can even see the magla in the air. Though, I'm not exactly an archmage. Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. Are you new to our fair city? Well, I suggest you keep a low profile. Trust me when I say you don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter and would make the perfect souvenir. Uh, the Royal Scepter? You've really never heard of it. Wow. Where do I even start? Uh... A symbol and instrument of the Crown's sovereignty. Passed down through generations. If you believe the legends, it houses incredible magic. World-shattering power. More practically, you might call it the world's most potent magic igniter. And in the king's hands, it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion. Now he's dead, with no living heir either. Tragic, isn't it? Kingly magic is of little use without a king. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. I don't know why you're here, but there's trouble brewing. I'll keep that in mind. A word of caution, then. Your survival is your own responsibility. Well, that was unnecessarily ominous. She has a point, though. We'll need to be careful. Anyway, we don't have time to hang around chatting with the locals. We've got a recruitment office to find. Let's head there. You are. I know. Hmm. I'm out of ideas. Dear me. That must be the recruitment center. I'll let you take it from here. It should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and if they start asking questions, just be as honest as you can. Lying will only make us more suspicious. So long as you don't compromise the mission, you're fine. Good luck in there. Knock them dead. OK. 
Okay, you got this. <laughs> A blue blood, are you? The army's no place for velvet swaddled lordlings. Why are you here? Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Is that it? Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's word. I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? An uppity one, aren't you? Fine, Lordling. Welcome to the Guard, where it'll be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. But mark my words, war will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder nobody respects the Guard anymore. But I'm here now, so perhaps the Kingdom isn't a lost cause. Insolent pup! You will learn your place. Don't. The healers have enough on their plates already. <sighs> be gone, and be thankful you're still in one piece. All right, next. Hurry it up. <laughs> An elder? I thought your kind was long gone. Age 18. An orphan, too. The army can always use more of those. So, what brings you to enlist? I want to fight for real change. Lofty words for a gutter rat with an empty coin purse, no? So, what can you bring to our beloved core? Any skills to speak of? I've got a sharp mind. Yes, you and every unschooled troglodyte. Right, last order of business. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually literate. Letters, do you? We'll get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. Yes! I'm sure you heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're shorthanded as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first deployment. You can pick up your kit at reception. Standard issue guardsman armor and igniter. Kingdom property. So if you break it, it's coming out of your commission. On your way now. Up to. Next! I heard they get sightings. What? Of those huge monsters? You think that's why we're low on soldiers? I wish they'd have told us that. What do they call them? Something like, um, human... 
Next! Another Clamar. Wait. No. You don't look like the others. Surely not. An elder? It's the first of your kind I've seen. Move it. There's a priority around here. We're arming squires and children with igniters now. Waste of good gear. It's better off in my hands. Give it here. Brute force and crude insults. The world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again, boy? We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another high and mighty Clamar, is it? You think your pretty words will measure up to pure Roussant strength? Oh, forget the tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology. Come on, no fighting in the ranks. <sighs> Sorry for making a scene. You all right? Thanks. You didn't have to do that. Just felt like stepping in. Don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there. Don't make my job any harder, please. Here, your igniter. These days, most come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. Mm. And take this, too. Protect it with your life. Wow, that's a real map! It's dangerous to even chart the wilds, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. Listen up, striplings. My name is Captain Klinger. And as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. I'm sure you've all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security detail, think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you're to survive. Pain. Perfect. That's exactly where our contacts hold up. Enjoy tonight's sleep, because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. This rest! Look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. Oh, right. I know you don't know what our contact looks like yet, but he'll know you by your sword. He'll also know right away why we've come. And don't worry, I'll recognize him. Well, the charming captain is probably right. We should get some rest before tomorrow. Um, hey, you awake? Nope, I'm asleep. Good night. Ha ha, very funny. Look, I just have a lot on my mind can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still, when you hear and see all this prejudice out in the open, it's a lot. You okay? That's just how it is. Well, I don't think that should be how it is. Some people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? That was a long time ago. Yeah, but still, the prince was kind to take you in. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? What book? Oh, I don't know, the one lying right there that you're always carrying around? Good thing those bandits weren't much for reading, huh? Thanks. It's 
It's what you call a fantasy story, right? So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, and no soul is born into discrimination. Wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. Wow. You see, no magic, no tribal conflict, and equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy, but it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? You know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own? Ugh. <sighs> well, guess I'll just read more later. Good night. Shouldn't you be resting? I'm fine. In fact, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I've been reading, and I hope that someday we can make our kingdom like the place in this book. You said it was some kind of fantasy novel, didn't you? Mm. Our lives are decided at birth, by tribal purity, or by the differences that make us who we are. I don't want that to be the world we live in. The Elder here are a perfect example. If you'd not sheltered me, I would never have survived. And yet... They burned your home down. It's tragic. And no one should have to suffer so. Someone needs to fix... <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Don't push yourself so hard. Reality is much too cruel. I know that. But I'll fight it. I'll fight to the end. I'm a prince. But I need to be a hero. One worthy of the throne. A hero? One who can lead. A beacon who will pierce the darkness when all seems lost. My father taught me that. In his stories, the kingdom was full of legendary heroes. So I can't give up. In my ideal world, people can believe in their future. Their birth doesn't matter. Not that I expect it will be easy. I believe in you. <laughs> Familiar words. When I'm down, when I struggle, you're always there to help me through it. <sighs> Let's do it. You'll be a hero. Trust me. I won't give up either. Trust me.
until arrival at the northern border fort. One day remains. Let's see. This place here. Hey, don't forget. Okay then. The carriage transporting the new recruits arrives at its destination. The northern border fort. The towering fortress was built during the Annex War in the mountains at the edge of the territory. Even now, soldiers are sent there for its strategic importance to the royal capital and to combat the rising waves of monsters. Fresh-faced soldiers disembark from their coaches at the foot of a steep ascent to the fort, the first of many uphill battles. I can hardly feel my legs. Listen well, you lackwits. The battlefield is no place to sit on your asses, and the border front is always a battlefield. The call to arms could sound at any time. Stand to, curs. You have the honor to serve at the command of Captain Klinger, war hero, tactician, master of arms. When I earned rank in the trenches, forged in the blood of my comrades. Spare us this drivel. Say, friend, I'm curious. What is it about that book that's captivated you so? It tells of a world united as one tribe. No discrimination, eh? A far cry from our world, then. So it's describing a better world. A utopia, perhaps. I'm something of a reader myself, but that's not like any book I've read. You know, when the late king took the throne, he was quite the idealist himself. He made grand claims about unifying the people under his rule. Never managed to do it in the end, of course. Reform takes more than high-minded, eloquent speeches. Maybe he was too blind to see that himself. Listen to you, a babe with his first sword, thinking he knows better than a king. Keep your mouth shut. No one cares what you think. Oh, nobody asked you. Something to say? Go on. I'm listening. If it's a fight you want, draw your blade. <laughs> Didn't think you'd just challenge me straight out. You've got guts for a lesser tribesman. Well, Clamar, I'll let it go this time, but only because I like your friend. Next time, keep your complaining to yourself. That's the last thing I need. Though I suppose I deserved it in part, speaking ill of the dead and all. My mouth tends to get ahead of my thoughts sometimes. Although I'm glad a bad habit seems to have drawn us together. Oh, never got round to an introduction. I'm Stroll. Leon Stroll, son of the Count of Harlia. And you are? That's my name. I have that right? It's got a certain weight to it. For what it's worth, my title doesn't mean much. Here and now, we're peers and equals. By the skin of my teeth! Now, um, where was I? Right, as for you, fresh meat. Someone, help! Is that a, a soldier? Hey, speak to me, man. What happened? Listen, stay on guard. Is... is too... <sighs> Not one of mine. Must be one of the fort's guard. Those damn vultures across the border. They must have heard about the king's death. Anyway, to the fort. Double time. 
I'll stay behind to uh, see to the poor bastard's wounds. You want us to go on ahead? Alone? Shouldn't we at least send a team back to ask for... I knew fear would take you at the first step. You want to turn tail? Are you a traitor to the cause? The guard has no place for cowards. You are part of His Majesty's royal army. Swallow your fear, fight with pride, and we'll all have medals this time tomorrow! He's right. We're warriors. Up there is our first chance of glory and riches. Damned if I'm gonna waste it. Let's go! Damn it! Well, I suppose this is what we signed up for. Onward, to the fort then. Hey, I've got a bad feeling about this. It's hard to explain, but it's like there's... a stench in the air, and it's getting stronger. Hey, did something happen? Wait, is that a... fairy? Did you catch it yourself? She's with me. Yes, and I have a name, by the way. It's Gallica. So you travel together? You've stayed well hidden for quite a while. Well, I didn't want anyone making a fuss. But we've got bigger problems right now. I can't shake this feeling. We gotta be careful. Agreed. I'll follow orders, but I'm not about to let this armchair general send me to my death. Let's take a moment, then head in once we're prepared. I assume you know how to use an igniter properly? I'm not so sure. He's never used one before. I mean, he's a commoner, so not much chance to. Fair enough. Well, just stay behind me and you'll be alright. I swear, I won't let you die. I'm with you. Oh, this is bad. I didn't think you'd actually have to fight anyone. I just hope our contact in the fort's okay. Let's keep our guard up and hope we find out. Survivors! What do you think? Huh. Got it? Take care of it, please.
things will be fine. Let's do this. The first move's ours. Let's do this. Justice. I won't hold back! Fire! Even easier than expected. That'll do it.
I'm counting on you. A tough one. Burn to us! <sighs> that settles that. I think that's all of them. We can't get sloppy. Right. Let's do this. The power of fire! They chose the wrong opponent. Be careful. There's more of them. Right. Quick, let's that. finish them! Let's give them a fight! Let's take them all out! Great job, if I say so myself. Only one left. Yeah. Work with. Even easier than expected. Let's push through. Okay. Let's give this all we've got. Let's go here. This one will fall just as easy. Okay. I'll strive for greater heights. That was the last of it. out. What do you think? Yep. it off somehow. Damned humans. It was all because of them. We'll just have to make it work. I won't hold back. Fire! Vile monster. You're mine! The power of fire! down like this. Burn to us! Oh, please! How is it this strong? I'll distract it. You two, run! Above all else, I am a noble. And a noble defends his people, no matter the cost. Farewell. If you would repay me, then live. This is 
Ninja. What? No! Please say something! Stroll! Don't be a fool! Just run for it! <sighs> oh, fate saddled child. Oh, anguished traveler. Uh. <laughs> thy fate is crown twined, thy soul bound for the uh. throne. A future yet unknown dawns in this moment. <laughs> thy path may fork, but only one may be chosen. Confront the threat before thee, or die here in obscurity. Now choose. I choose. <laughs> so be it. Heroism lies in the soul that stands firm against its fears. Power awaits thy command. The time is come to awaken the hero within. Engrave thy very heart. <laughs> of a wanderer. Tough 
one. By the power. Thy strength is drawn, yet fear and anxiety always trail in such a wish's wake. Since time immemorial, those we call heroes have earned the title through this order. They pursued their wishes and boldly walked a path of virtue. What thou hast awakened is the true spirit of a hero, the power that lies dormant in all of us, the power to reforge the fear of the unknown into curiosity. If thou wouldst change the world by thine own hand, take this newfound power and venture forth. Thy journey shalt reveal thy soul's mission. What was that voice? And you! What was that power you used? You had a metal heart, and your whole body was... It was crazy! <sighs> Uh. Look, that stroll guy is still alive. I'll be damned. Someone actually survived. That voice. Grius! Oh, thank goodness, you're alive! Gallica, you made it. He's our man on the inside. The one I'm delivering the message to. He's badly hurt. You, boy, lend me your shoulder. We'll need to carry it. The smell of blood will draw out the beasts. Let's not hang about. The lad's out cold, but he'll live. We should be fine if we take a moment's rest here. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes, Grius. Just wish it were under better circumstances. We're both alive, and you can't ask for much better in these parts. Sorry I couldn't join you in the fray. So, this is our newcomer, eh? How'd this boy manage to command power like that? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Do you know anything about it? I might. For now, the mission comes first. Ah, uh, right. I'd better just get straight to the message. Grius, you have a new mission. Avenge the king and kill Louis Squeaburn. Well, good. It's about damn time. Those scheming nobles haven't said so publicly, but every soldier knows it was nothing natural that killed the king. Damn that, Louis. Couldn't stop at one royal, could he? Wait, there's more. The prince is getting worse. We're running out of time. Here, look. I brought a treasure from the village. They called it a Farsight Mirror. You need to see the prince's condition for yourself. His highness won't last much longer. Those thorns are thick enough to claim him. Louise cast the curse, so killing him is the only way to lift it. If we wait any longer, they're just gonna crown a new king. And who's Louise? Is that a real question? About 15 years ago, a child enlisted in the army. But it wasn't his age that had people talking. It was his ruthless military genius. Hero to some, monster to others. Luis Guillermo, a prodigal tactician and a master of magla arts. Some said it was only a matter of time before he made general. The youngest the nations had. Until he attacked the prince. That night, when the prince's quarters were breached, it was no ordinary mage who cast that fatal curse. It was Luis Guillaburn himself. 
But the son's death wasn't enough for him. Now he's got the father's blood on his hands. And if that king-slaying fiend ends up on the throne, we're all doomed. But when we were exploring the royal capital, there were a lot more Luis supporters than I expected. How can they still trust him after all that? Luis is cunning. He left no evidence. Accuse him as you will, or the allegations wouldn't stick. All they could do was send him as far away as possible. A post in the middle of nowhere. Plenty of soldiers never believed the charges in the first place. When they look at him, they see a capable veteran unjustly made into the noble scapegoat. Most think the Royal Army was at its best when he was in charge. And in truth, it's hard to deny. Without him, we'd never have crushed the rebel uprising so quickly. Damn the man. But he's earned his titles. He's mastered the blade, magic, and he's clearly intelligent. To the masses who want change, he seems the savior they need. If even you're that worried about him, then this isn't going to be easy. That's a hell of a mission. And I want in. So that's your game, eh? Pretend to sleep, eavesdrop on the plan. You're a fool to give yourself away. If you want my blood, then let your blade strike true. I'm not going to run. Not from you, and not from a chance to do what's right. Look, Grius, he saved our lives back there. And it sounds like we could use the help. Seems like kind of a waste to kill him. Especially if he's volunteering. <sighs> then answer me this. The boy's all but a stranger to you. Yet you risk your life to save him. Why? I would live, fight, and die a noble, sir. To have done otherwise would betray my title, to say nothing of my heart. Uh, I'm losing my edge. Make me regret this, and I will slay you where you stand. You'll let him help us? Right then. My life and sword are yours. As far as the rest of the world's concerned, you perished in that castle. You'll find the job ahead will be easier for a dead man. Your lives are kept only by the blades in your hands. And you'll raise them at my command. We have to. Luis will also be at the royal funeral. If we're not back to the capital by then, we lose our chance at his head. But no main roads. That'll mean checkpoints and questions. We're bound for a different route. We'll cut through the abandoned mine up ahead to save us going the long way round. For tonight, see to your wounds. We'll leave at first light. But I'm counting on you. Feels like the mission is finally starting. Let's set up our camp then. Now, we should finally be able to get some rest. This your first deployment, boy. Thank your lucky stars you survived a brush with a human. What the hell was that? It was like no beast I've ever seen. No one truly knows. They're protected by Magla, so even the sharpest steel does little good against them. They're no simple beast. All we do know is with every passing year, more of their kind tear travelers apart. That was why I was first sent undercover here. Investigating. And? Did you learn anything? Simmer down, boy. There wasn't a damn thing to be found on those monsters. Ah. <sighs> well, the moon's still low. If you've any other questions, now's the time. I want to hear about the mission. With numbers like this, a head on assault would be suicide. Quick! Covert assassinations are best bet. Kingslayer or no, Luis has a lot of public favor behind him. To the people, he's the only man with the wit and war power to bring down humans. The military seems powerless to stop them, so he plays savior. The man's practically a monster himself. By your age, he was not only a master tactician, but damn near an archmage besides. And 
the three of us alone are supposed to stop him. We'll just have to blend in with the crowd at the funeral. I won't abide him surviving the ceremony. He will die by my hand. Ugh. Ugh. Well... Can't sleep? Guess I'm not surprised after what we just went through. Still, you've got to keep yourself rested to be at your best. The ground makes a poor bed. Well, you're just gonna have to rough it until we're back to the capital. I wanted to tell you, though. When the human attacked, I heard a strange voice. It told me my duty would be to guide you. What do you think it meant? I mean, I haven't exactly been much of a guide so far. All I told you was that we had to deliver our message, and that almost got you killed. I never expected it would be this dangerous, and it feels kind of like it's my fault. It's not your fault. You say that, but... Look... I can't fight with you, but as long as you're up against all this scary stuff, I'll try to help however I can. You've got something special, you know. I don't know what it is just yet, but I believe in you. Oh, hey, uh, you know what insomnia is good for? Catching up on reading. If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. It's just war after war here, with magla arts fueling the flames. But it's a nice fantasy. Enjoy it while you can. Good night. Well, hello. Nice to meet you. I've been waiting. And now you've acquired a most interesting power. You truly are an intriguing one. In the moments where your heart is most gripped by the book, I can reach out to you. My name is Moore, and I am the humble author of the novel you've been reading. You stand now in my study. Quite something, isn't it? A hall of wisdom, purpose built for the research of certain powers. I call it academia. Alas, it's as much a prison as it is a library. His most merciful majesty saw fit to lock me in this place. It has me a bit addled, honestly. I no longer remember where in the kingdom my study actually lies. I never imagined my voice would reach beyond these walls. Until you appeared. And now, by whatever strange forces are afoot, I can speak directly to your mind. So, what would you say to an alliance? 
What kind of alliance? There must be more you wish to know. For instance, the nature of this fascinating power you've awakened to. I believe you have found a way to wield true magic. You need no petty conduit of mortal make. You can even change your appearance using the raw magma within. It is above all a mystic, long-hidden art. Now the stuff of legend. What I have come to call archetypes. Archetypes? A spirit of heroic virtue. A transformative power that manifests only in those who embody the heroes and kings of old in some core aspect. Heroes of antiquity are often depicted as near mythic figures with forms transcending the mortal. These accounts are no mere allegory, but truth. However, none of my records describe anyone wielding such power as freely as you. Perhaps you are meant for not just proficiency, but mastery. In their truest form, archetypes represent the power of a true hero. One who can drive away calamity and evil in this world, no matter its form. Indulge me this request, and I believe my dream may yet be possible. Together, we can restore the kingdom's ideals. I shall gladly provide you knowledge and assistance to master your newfound power. So what say you? Will you take my hand in friendship? Okay. The bargain is struck then. The scholar in search of utopia, more. Within him dwells the virtue of the seeker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Now let's see what manner of story you'll weave. We'll meet again, I'm sure. Here's to our joined path, and the thrills that yet lie ahead. <laughs>